Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at National College of Ireland. Uh, and this video, another video in our series of videos uh, uh, dealing with number theory, or in our collection of videos on number theory, and more importantly in relation to the divisibility of the integers, uh, is going to look at, I suppose, another property of the integers, uh, a little small proof again, okay, in which in, in, in this proof we're going to try to show that the product of two odd integers is in fact odd. So we'd like to try to show that. So let's start our proof off. Okay, so our proof. Uh, okay, well, if I want to show that the product of two odd, odd integers is odd, I need to have the two odd integers in the first place. So let's assume we have them. So let A and B okay, be odd integers. Okay, let them be odd integers. Okay. So because they're odd integers, okay, what that tells us is this, is that based off the division algorithm, okay, that the remainder after division by 2 is going to be equal to 1. So based from the division algorithm, what we know is, well, we know what odd integers look like. Okay? Well, then A must be equal to, okay, uh, well, it must be equal to 2 times some number plus 1, because that's what an odd integer looks like, okay? where, where M is is an element of the integers, okay? And that's what the division algorithm says, is that we can we can always find an integer, okay? Or more importantly, two integers, okay? Uh, that we can represent the number as a quotient times the divisor, okay? Uh, plus a remainder, the division algorithm. This is what an odd number looks like. And also, we must have that b is also an odd integer, so it's equal to two times some, inter some other integer. In other words, it's an even, part plus one which makes it odd okay where where we have n is an element of z okay and what we want to show is that the product of two odd integers is in fact odd okay well let's have a look at it so clearly so clearly a times b is equal to well what's a a is 2n plus one times 2n plus one Okay, a times b, well a is 2n plus 1 and b is 2n plus 1, so a times b must be equal to the product of these two numbers. Now when we expand out the brackets, what do we get? Well we get 2 times 2 is 4, m times n is mn, so that gives us 4mn. 2m times 1 gives us plus 2m, 1 times 2n gives us plus 2n, and what do we have here? We have 1 times 1 gives us a plus 1 when we expand out the brackets. Okay. Now, let's have a look at this, this, this particular part of this number here. Okay. And what we hopefully we can see is that there is a common factor across these numbers. There's a common factor of 2. So this is equal to 2 times 2mn, okay, because 2 times 2mn gives us 4mn, plus m, plus n, okay, because 2 times m gives us 2m, and 2 times n gives us 2n, plus 1. Now, we know that m and n, m and n are elements of the integers. So two times their product, okay, uh, are going to be integers, okay? An integer times an integer is an integer. Two times an integer is going to be an integer. And uh, when we add an integer onto an integer, we get an integer. And when we add another integer on, we get an integer. So this particular term here, okay, is an integer, okay? So this is equal to two times p plus one, where p is an element of the integers because we're letting p be this particular this particular term here okay or this particular factor of this particular term okay and what we've shown here well actually what we've shown is this is that the product of a b is equal to an even number that's what 2p is it's divisible by 2 so the product of a b is equal to an even number plus 1 which is actually the definition of an odd number. Actually, from the division algorithm, we can actually see that this is an odd number. Okay? So what we've actually shown here is that the product AB is not divisible by 2, okay? in which case it must be odd. Yeah? So here we now have clearly okay, the product AB okay, okay, is, is odd. Okay? So what we've actually shown here with this little proof is that the product of two odd integers is in fact odd. Okay guys, uh, once again my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and I hope that this video, uh, another video in our series of videos on number theory, I hope that this was in some way intuitive and more importantly I hope that was helpful and once again thank you for, for watching.